Hi everyone, I'm Kalev and today I want to show you what's new in GNOME 3.38. This is the version that's going to be in Fedora 33 workstation and uh, over the past few weeks we worked hard to get the latest upstream GNOME releases into Fedora 33 beta. The beta release is going to be out on Tuesday, which is a little bit later than what we originally planned for. Uh, but thanks to the delays, we actually ended up getting the final 3.38.0 release into beta, which is nice. So let me show you what's new. As a first thing, when booting up the computer, we can see that the initial setup in GNOME 3.38 has gained a new welcome page. This is a very nice touch, especially because Fedora will be shipping on new Lenovo laptops later this year. And uh, this is the page many people are going to see when they first start their newly purchased computer. Let me uh, quickly click through the rest of the initial setup and create the user for myself. After initial setup is finished and the user logs in for the very first time, GNOME 3.38 automatically launches a new GNOME Tor that guides the user through basic tasks. This is also a very nice touch uh, for new users that might have never used GNOME before. Now let's look at some GNOME shell changes. In uh, 3.38, the application screen has been changed so that the split between frequent and all apps is uh, gone. And instead, the main grid now supports reordering uh, and organizing into custom folders. Next in the system menu, restart has been moved and is now visible alongside the power off option. Another GNOME shell change is that the built-in screen recorder that is hidden behind the Control shift alt r key combination has had a bunch of performance improvements and now uses pipe wire underneath. This work should make screen recording use less resources and improve the responsiveness of the whole system while it's in use. Next, let's look at a few nice improvements in GNOME Control Center. When I open the power panel, it's now possible to choose show battery percentage, which then makes the percentage show up in the shell dot bar. Then when I go to the Users panel, the fingerprint uh, dialog has been redesigned. Let me quickly add a fingerprint here. And now let's lock the screen. And then I'm able to log back in using the fingerprint. Moving on to Wi-Fi settings. Now, I don't have an Ethernet cable plugged in right now, but if I did, I could create a Wi-Fi hotspot and allow mobile devices to share my internet connection. A new thing here is that there's a scannable QR code, which avoids having to type the password on the phone. Various apps have been improved in 3.38 as well. Epiphany, the GNOME web browser, now has intelligent tracking prevention and also has an option to uh, block websites to store cookies and other data. GNOME Maps now has support for adaptive resizing of the UI and also has a new night mode. GNOME Clocks has a redesigned Add New World Clock dialog. GNOME Photos 
has a new trends in image filter. And GNOME screenshot has been redesigned and has a more modern interface. Okay, that's it for me for today. I really like how this release has turned out and I hope you guys are going to like uh, GNOME 3.38 as well. Thank you for watching and see you all next time. Bye.